parents with children on the autism spectrum, I just want to let you know some of my experiences. For one, you know, when my children were younger, it was very stressful keeping everything in order. They had sensory issues, problems dealing with the environment and so forth. So it took a lot to get everything in order so that the day could go reasonably well. And often it didn't. But we took certain measures in our family. First of all, we made sure to keep a routine. And we made sure to share that routine with our children. The other thing we did was to make sure and secure their diet. Um, not giving them all these sugary stuff, all these um, snacks with chemicals and stuff in it. We tried to get them you know, a very healthy diet so that they could respond better to the environment. You know, as neurotypicals, we need to eat healthy if we are to um, cope with our environment. And so it's no different for special needs children. So that's one of the things we did. The other thing we tried to do is always expose them to what's out there. You know, you, you may take a child out, and in my case it was a matter of sometimes taking two or three children on the spectrum out, and there would be meltdowns, there would be shouting, people would be looking at us, wondering why we can't discipline our children and so forth. But you know, you, you just have to block them all out and ignore them because they will never understand what it's like to be a parent of special needs children. The exposure is what helped my children mature a lot and help them to, to learn more about the world around them. If you just keep them at home, it's going to be hard. No, I'm not addressing um, severely autistic children. My heart really goes out for parents who have that challenge. I know that some parents cannot even begin to dream about taking their child out. And I know their circumstances are very different to what I'm talking about. But if your children can go out, and even if they do have meltdowns, don't give up. Do not um, keep them home locked away or just in their school and back home and that's it, you know, take them to the grocery store and take them out, let them see what it's like to be exposed and to see people and whatnot. They will gradually mature. I want to let you know that from my experience as a parent with um, special needs children, I saw a dramatic improvement when they attain the age of around 9, 10. They start to level off and become a little more quiet. And by the time they reach um, their early uh, teens or the preteens, they they're easier to handle. I want you to look forward to that. I know parents when their children are first diagnosed and they're young, you know, three, four years old, and they're moving up and down and they don't sleep and whatnot. You feel like, wow, this is never going to end, but they do mature and um, just like other children mature and as long as you expose them they will the want of a better will calm down and start to integrate with the environment i guess my main message today is don't lose hope there are many parents with autistic children who have gone through the battles that you probably go through in trying to get the best for your children and to do your best as a parent. Uh, I know how it is and you will succeed.